Ministry is set to release From Beer to Eternity, which will end up being its real final album after their planned final album, Relapse, was targeted to be the group's last hurrah in 2012. The record is set for release September 10th, and it follows in the footsteps of Al's book, Ministry, The Lost Gospels, according to Al Jorgensen. We Skyped with Al, and during the chat, we asked him if the death of one of his favorite people in the world, his guitarist, Mike Scotcha, was the impetus for putting out From Beer to Eternity. Well, yeah, he's like, um, <laughs> he's the driving force behind this record, without a doubt. Uh, you know, um, I didn't even want to do this record. I wanted to call it quits after last one, but Mikey came by, and we were just like, uh, just jamming around on some riffs, and I just put him on a shelf somewhere, and he had a, a CD or an MP3 of it, and he just kept psycho-texting me, saying, dude, these riffs are awesome. You, you have to do one more record. He then talked about what happened to what he thought would be his farewell. Uh, the reason I wanted to quit last time was for health reasons. Uh, you know, I was bleeding everywhere, and uh, and I died <laughs> for my third time. And uh, and they brought me back to life. And uh, I I as soon as I got out of, uh, out of uh, intensive care, I called Mikey and I said, uh, you know that Buck Satan record uh, that we've been talking about for 30 years and haven't done. Uh, we might want to do it now because. Uh, Ironically, oddly enough, I said, I don't know how much time I have left. You know what I'm saying? That was very ironic. So we did the Buck Satan record, and he came out here to the compound, and, uh, and in between country songs, uh, we just jammed on some riffs and, you know, just, just to warm up or whatever and put it on a shelf. And so I said, all right, well, we'll try, you know, so... Uh, he came out with uh, our other guitar player, Sin, and in 19 days, this record was recorded in 19 days. Al then recalled that after the most productive session he ever had for ministry, Mikey passed away. Then he left to go back to Dallas, and two days later, I get a phone call saying he's dead. Now there's just the basic tracks done. So I find myself two days after he leaves, smiling ear to ear, man, just grinning, just going, this is the best stuff we've ever done together as, as ministry or as anything. He was really excited about this record. He was the uh, protagonist of this record. He was like, or he, he propelled it into being. Um, so at this point, um, if you like the record, Please give me all the credit, and if you don't like it, blame Mikey. Tune back as we'll have more from Al on his next career moves, his run-ins with some of the biggest names in music, and more from the book he did with John Wiederhorn, Ministry, The Lost Gospels, according to Al Jorgensen.